Ever wondered how scientists separate mixtures without the use of chromatography? It's all about non-chromatographic separation techniques. These are the unsung heroes in the world of science and research, allowing us to break down complex mixtures into their individual components. From separating oil and water to purifying substances, these techniques play a crucial role in shaping our understanding of the world. Ready to dive in headfirst? Stay tuned to explore seven exciting non-chromatographic techniques. First on the list is fractional distillation, a common technique in labs worldwide. This method is a master at separating mixtures, particularly liquids, based on differences in their boiling points. Picture a cocktail of liquids, all with different boiling points. The process starts with heating this mixture in a flask. As the temperature rises, the liquid with the lowest boiling point begins to vaporize first. This vapor then travels up a column, packed with materials that provide surface area for repeated condensation and evaporation. As the vapor rises, it cools down and condenses on the packing material. But here's the trick. The heat from the rising vapor causes this condensed liquid to evaporate again, this time with greater purity. This cycle repeats, each time purifying the liquid further until we have a nearly pure component. The purified liquid then condenses in a separate container while the remaining mixture continues its journey of distillation. And that's how fractional distillation works, a simple yet effective technique. Next, we delve into the world of fractional crystallization. This fascinating process is all about separation, but not in the way you might think. It's not about division or detachment, but rather a celebration of the unique characteristics of different compounds. Picture a mixture, a hodgepodge of different substances all jumbled together. Now imagine that we could tease apart those substances, separating them based on their distinctive crystalline structures. That's the fundamental principle of fractional crystallization. How does it work? Well, it starts with a solution. As this solution cools, the different compounds within it start to crystallize at different temperatures. These crystals, each a pure representation of a single compound, are then separated from the remaining solution. But the process doesn't stop there. The remaining solution is further cooled and the process repeats allowing for the extraction of multiple compounds from a single mixture. Fractional crystallization, a fascinating technique with profound applications. Ever heard of a technique that turns solids into gas? Welcome to sublimation. In the fascinating world of chemistry, sublimation is a bit of a rule breaker. It's a process where a substance goes from a solid state directly to a gaseous state, bypassing the liquid stage entirely. Imagine dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide. Expose it to air and it doesn't melt. It sublimates, transforming straight into gas. Sublimation is not just a cool party trick. It's incredibly useful for separating mixtures, particularly when one component sublimates and the other doesn't. That's how we get pure samples of iodine, frozen espresso and even freeze-dried foods. Sublimation proves that sometimes the best route isn't the most conventional one. It shows us that in the world of science, the unexpected can be the most efficient. Sublimation, a technique that defies the norm and gets the job done. Now, let's delve into chemical derivatization, a technique that truly tests our chemical knowledge. Chemical derivatization is a fascinating process where we manipulate the chemical structure of substances to make them easier to detect or analyze. Imagine it as a chemical makeover, where we alter the molecules in a mixture to enhance their distinctive features. The process involves the addition or replacement of specific functional groups in the molecules. This alteration transforms the physical and chemical properties of the original substance, making it more amenable to analysis and separation. We can think of this as giving our molecules a new wardrobe, changing their appearance to make them stand out from the crowd. The beauty of chemical derivatization lies in its versatility. It can be used in a wide range of applications, from gas chromatography to mass spectrometry, making it a powerful tool in the hands of chemists. So there we have it. Chemical derivatization, a technique for the brave and the bold. Let's spin things around with our next technique, centrifugation. This is a method that uses the force of gravity to separate substances of different densities. It's like a whirlwind, 
spinning mixtures at high speed to create a forceful pull, a centrifugal force that drags denser substances to the bottom of a test tube, while lighter ones float up to the top. But it's not just about speed. The power of centrifugation lies in its precision. It can separate cells from a liquid, proteins from cells, or even DNA from a cell's nucleus. It's a vital tool in medical research, forensic science, biochemistry, and even the food industry. Imagine a salad spinner. It uses centrifugal force to separate water from lettuce leaves. In a similar way, centrifugation can separate cream from milk or plasma from blood cells. It's fast, it's furious, and yet incredibly precise. Centrifugation, fast and furious, yet incredibly precise. Last but not least, we dive into the froth flotation technique. Imagine a scene where tiny bubbles are rising through a liquid, each one carrying a precious cargo. This is the essence of the froth flotation technique, an innovative separation process that combines chemistry, physics, and a bit of whimsy. At its core, the technique uses the differences in the surface properties of particles within a mixture. A froth or foam is created, and the particles to be separated attach themselves to the bubbles. As the bubbles rise, they carry the particles with them, separating them from the rest of the mixture. The beauty of this technique is its versatility. From mineral processing in mining to wastewater treatment, the froth flotation technique proves its worth time and time again. It's a testament to the creativity of scientists, turning a simple observation into a powerful separation tool. Froth flotation technique, a technique that brings science and art together. So, there you have it. Seven non-chromatographic techniques that are indispensable in the world of science. Each technique we've explored today, from fractional distillation to the froth flotation method, plays an integral role in the complex universe of chemistry and beyond. Let's take a moment to revisit these techniques. Fractional distillation, remember, is a method used to separate a mixture of liquids with differing boiling points. It's like a thorough sieve, but for liquids. Then we have fractional crystallization, a technique that separates substances based on their different solubilities. It's a bit like being a detective, picking out the culprit from a lineup based on their unique characteristics. Sublimation, on the other hand, is the process where a substance goes directly from the solid to the gas phase without passing through the intermediate liquid phase. It's like magic, but in chemistry. And let's not forget chemical derivatization. This method transforms a compound into another compound that might be easier to detect or separate. Think of it as a master of disguise, changing an element's appearance to make it easier to identify. Centrifugation, as we discussed, is a technique that involves the application of centrifugal force to separate particles from a solution. It's like a high-speed merry-go-round, spinning substances until they separate. And lastly, the froth flotation technique, a process especially significant in the mining industry, separates valuable minerals from their ore. It's a bit like panning for gold, but on a much larger scale. Each of these techniques, in their unique way, allows us to separate, identify and better understand the many substances that make up our world. They're like the unsung heroes of chemistry, working behind the scenes to reveal the element's secrets. Subscribe for more, because you won't find me later. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, this is your Science Guide signing off.